prostate gland is a male reproductive organ located between the bladder and penis, whose main function is to secrete prostate fluid. With aging, the health of the prostate is known to deteriorate. After the age of 60, more than 50% of men suffer from prostate growth known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. By the age of 70, the risk of suffering from benign prostatic hyperplasia increases to 90%. A growing prostate is also a sign of cancer. In Australia, 18,000 new cases of prostate cancer were diagnosed in 2018 with 3,500 prostate cancer-related deaths. Another commonly occurring pathology is prostatitis, which is swelling caused by either infection, injury, or immune disorder. Unclear results or complex conditions may require magnetic resonance imaging, which is used to highlight areas of the prostate for detection of abnormal growths or cancers. A highly trained radiologist locates and evaluates a suspicious area by using several criteria, including appearance of the prostate and surrounding tissue through detailed tissue contrast in three dimensions. Then we have other parameters we can look at with our new advanced techniques. And one of them is looking at cellular density or cellular packing. Obviously, this is a lower resolution image. However, you can see here that there's a very distinct dark area the technique uses low energy magnetic waves to produce multiple scans of the prostate. The 30 to 40 minute procedure combines the results of multiple scans, giving a clear comprehensive image. Another approach is transrectal ultrasound, which can be used to guide biopsy. In this procedure, a small probe known as a transducer is inserted into the rectum and emits sound waves when pressed against the body. The transducer receives echoing waves of differing pitch and direction according to internal organs, tissues and fluids. Cytoscopy allows physicians to examine the lining of your bladder and urethra, whereby a hollow tube known as the cytoscope is equipped with a lens and is inserted into the urethra. Cytoscopy can reveal a narrowing of the urethra where it passes through the prostate gland. This indicates an enlarged prostate and is used to diagnose benign prostatic hyperplasia. Further testing may require methods such as computer tomography or CT, where X-ray measurements taken from several angles are used to make computer process cross-sectional images of the prostate. This provides an internal view of the prostate without having to bisect it. In some cases, a contrast dye is used to track if cancer has infiltrated other tissues. MRI has a low risk of ionising radiation in comparison to other modalities. Risks associated with MRI include possible allergic reactions due to the injected contrast dyes. As the procedure relies on magnetic field and radio waves, MRI poses serious risks to patients with pacemakers as it may trigger changes in the settings leading to a malfunction. Transrectal examination, which is physically invasive, uses ultrasound waves and may cause increased temperature. These thermal energy changes may result in tissue necrosis, apoptosis, abnormal cell migration, altered gene expression and membrane dysfunction. The possibility of these risks are low if examination is performed correctly. Ultrasound can be extremely beneficial as patients are not exposed to ionising radiation and is widely accessible and less expensive than other methods. Since cytoscopy uses a small camera, there is no risk of ionising radiation. Despite this benefit, the invasive nature of the procedure increases the risk of infection, bleeding, bladder wall rupture and hyponatremia, which is a sodium imbalance in the body. This ambiguity of this method is, is a disadvantage as it is incapable of differentiating between BPH and prostate cancer. CT scans are useful in cases where MRI cannot be used. The method has a quick scan time and determines accurate size of the gland. It can also be used to assess pelvic lymph nodes for metastasis. However, the modality uses X-ray which produces ionizing radiation and may result in radiation damage to tissues or organs. This may affect the cell's ability to reproduce itself correctly. As a result, mutations can occur, 
resulting in diseases such as cancer. In comparison to MRI, MRI scans usually provide a more detailed image of soft tissue and internal organs such as the prostate glands. However, CT machines are more widely used and typically less expensive. In summary, the prostate requires routine monitoring after the age of 60. As age increases, the susceptibility of BPH, prostate cancer and prostatitis is raised. Therefore, imaging modalities such as MRI, transrectal ultrasound, cytoscopy and CT are extremely useful in diagnosis of prostate conditions. It is important to consider the benefits and risks of each diagnostic technique, such as associated costs, ionising effects of radiation, patient comfort and time consumed.